Michelle here. Welcome back to the Traveling Epicurean. Today I am with the French Club. Bonjour. Bonjour. See, not only are we going to learn to cook, but we're going to learn a, a few French words, right, Mary? Absolutely. Okay. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be cooking chocolate eclairs. We're going to start off with a pâte de choux, which is a French pastry dough. <laughs> then we'll move to the pastry cream. We'll fill our chocolate eclairs and we're going to dip them in our chocolate glaze. It's going to be so much fun. So, are you guys ready to start with the pastry cream? Wee! Wee! Okay, I love it. That was good. This is what we're going to need for our pastry cream. I have two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar. I have a quarter cup of cornstarch with a pinch of salt. I have two cups of whole milk, room temperature. Six egg yolks, room temperature. We're gonna need two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and a tablespoon of unsalted butter. We have a sieve and a glass bowl. So let's get started on making our wonderful pastry cream. So you're gonna love this method. I got it from one of Martha Stewart's chefs, Thomas Joseph. This is not his recipe, but this is his method. We're gonna do this all in one pan. Wait till you see how quick this is. This we're doing all in one pot. It's really, really nice and super easy, and it always comes out great. So I'm gonna put the sugar in the pan, then the cornstarch, and then I'm just gonna whisk this together. So yeah, so whisk, whisk, whisk in our bowl here. And now who else wants to take the eggs and put them into the milk and we'll start whisking that? Okay, so you can do that right now. All at the same time? All of the eggs okay. go right in there. This is a super easy way to do this. A lot of Those eggs and the milk in right away. And keep whisking while she's doing that. And the trick on this is you've got to keep whisking. And the cornstarch doesn't get activated until it comes to a boiling stage. We do five seconds on, five seconds off, and then another five seconds on and that'll bring it into the custard stage once it starts to boil. Because if you boil it for too long, it turns green. Do we count to five? Uh, un, deux, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. So I'm still whisking. I'm gonna add in our tablespoon of butter and two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two. I'm gonna keep whisking. So I have my sieve here and I'm just gonna be pouring this into the bowl through the sieve. You know, that'll catch any egg particles that we don't want in there. And I'm just gonna brush this back and forth. And I'm gonna cool it just for a couple of minutes. And when it cools in the refrigerator, it's gonna get even thicker. So just gonna push it through the sieve, just like that. And then I wanna scrape the bottom too. Don't forget about the bottom. Really beautiful. And then just give it a stir to cool it a little bit. I do this for about a minute, just so it cools. And now I'm just gonna cover it with saran wrap. I'm gonna push down so it goes right on top of the surface of the custard, just like that. How simple was this? One pan, we whisked it all together, and it works every single time. All right, so I'm gonna get this into the refrigerator. You really wanna chill it for at least two hours and it can be chilled up to three days. Okay, so let's get back to the French Club, start filling those chocolate eclairs. I can't wait. 
So this is what we're gonna need to make our pot de choux for the chocolate eclairs. I have a cup of water, one cup of all-purpose flour, one stick of unsalted butter, I have four eggs room temperature, I have a teaspoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, an egg with a teaspoon and a half of water, that's for our egg wash, and a pastry bag. All right, let's get going and start making our pate choux. Water in. Do you need the sugar? Mm -hmm. pour, this is a teaspoon of sugar. And now if you're making gougere, did I say that right? Gougere, mm -hmm. which is a cheese puff or a cheese oh, profiterole, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't add the sugar. So you would leave the sugar out. But we're making a dessert, mm -hmm. so we're going to add the sugar to that. It just gives it like a hint of sweet, like yeah. not too much, mm -hmm. but just enough. Wait, well, sweet we sweet need to put the butter in too. Okay. And the whole thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and so with the gougier, and then you would just add in, you know, anywhere from, you know, a half a cup of cheese to a cup of cheese when you're making the dough. Oh, for the pot Yeah. Okay. A lot of eggs. Must be a lot of protein in these. A lot of eggs, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're actually good for you. <laughs> every week. <laughs> as soon as that starts to bubble, so we're going to put down the whisk mm -hmm. and we're going to pour in the whole... At the same time? Yeah. How, mu how much flour is that? A cup of flour. A cup of flour, a cup of water, one stick of butter. And, really? it. and it will all come together. And we're going to stir this for about a minute and a half, two minutes. And when it starts to stick to the sides of the pan and the bottom, then it's going to be ready. Got to put some mustache. Here we go. Are you um, sure you're sorry, you're yeah. 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 We're yeah. cooking out that raw flour yep. taste. Yep. One cup of flour, one stick of butter, one cup of water. That's right. And then a pinch of salt. And a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. Excellent. If you're making the dessert. Oh, maybe that's true. If you're making the gruyere, you don't need the sugar. Okay. All right. So we're going to take it off the stove. Does someone want to pour that out into the bowl here? So we need some muscle. <laughs> I just, all right. Yeah, and we're gonna just mix it around a little bit and let it cool down a little bit. You can go slow at this point. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. now we gotta keep, like keep stirring. You touch Sorry. it. Keep, that's okay. And just keep stirring. It will break up. It'll look like it won't combine. But the funny thing is, wait to see how it just turns into this wonderful texture. But you got to keep stirring, and then once it's absorbed into the flour mixture, we're going to add in another egg. It's definitely a good workout, that's for sure. All right, one more egg. I'm going to keep doing this until I've gone through all four. All right. So we have this beautiful dough ready to go, and the little trick is I use a plastic container like this. I'm going to fold down the sides of our pastry bag and we're just going to lay it in that container and that'll make it nice and easy to fill up the pastry bag with our pate choux dough. All the dough into our pastry bag here and then we're going to gather up our bag here and then push it down. See how easy it is? And I'm going to leave this here so I have something to put our dough in, okay? And a little trick for our tray. But, see how this kind of moves all over the place? Yeah. When you start to pipe out the, uh, the dough, the paper is going to move on you and it's going to be a little bit frustrating. So we'll just do a little dab there in each corner. Oh, so like glue. Oh, really it's going to be the glue, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then you want to put that it. down. Very okay. smart. Yeah, it's really clever. We're going to do <coughs> strips of dough. God bless you. Thanks. How do you say that in French? Uh, uh, 
At tes souhaits. At tes souhaits. At tes souhaits. At tes souhaits. I know, I heard two different so things there. Salut is saying salut. 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 is a giant. You're lucky, madame. Oh, we're all in the zoo. So, Mary, how do you say God bless you? At tes souhaits. At tes souhaits. So, how you see those are little minis. So, I only did like about three inches. You can do a little bit more. I'll do one. You hold it into place and you slowly move it. Super cool. Yes. And then you Super go cool. up like that. Okay? So. Oh, are we you making like go, the. You want to go first? Sure. Can I keep an eye on this for As soon as that boils, we're just going to pour it on the chocolate chips and then let them get soft. Oh, perfect. Oh, for the chocolate. Oh, like a ganache. Like and you know, it just takes a little bit of practice. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Try another one. See so if you if you stay a little bit longer and let it fill. There you go. <laughs> and I'll show you something. I'm gonna get my um, oh, not my offset spatula. It's harder than it looks. Do you want me to wash that? No. Tori has it like right up to the edge there. <laughs> it's very forgiving dough. And so you could just scoop it up with the offset spatula. And we're going to use a little egg wash and smooth it out. Oh my goodness. Sweetie, so squeeze from the back. See? <laughs> this is like a toothpaste test. Oh, say bon. Well done, Tori. Bravo. 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 <laughs> All right, now who wants to try the one without the... Uh, yeah. Okay, come on over here, Glenn. We can get going from both sides. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you have a also, no. and you know what? I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. She's starting. Oh, look at you. So that one's not even going to have the... the no, you thing. don't need the tip. Yeah. So hold it like this. And be a little bit more, if you're up on top a little bit more. Okay. I think that might help. And I'm going to get the pastry cream, and you guys can start I'll filling the pastry Okay, this was so much fun. Piping out our pot de choux. We're going to get them in the oven, 15 minutes at 400, and then 350 for 25 minutes. I can't wait for you to see what they look like when they come out of the oven. Well, these came out so pretty. Oh, my goodness. They're golden and hollow. They're perfect. They smell really, really good. I cannot wait to fill them with the pastry cream that we're making with the French Club and dunk them in that chocolate glaze. Ooh, they're gonna be so delicious. Now, if you do it, when go, when you, if you make large eclairs, you may want to put them on both ends. This way you'll pipe into one end, you flip it around and pipe into the other end. There. But these are so small, I wanted to make them a little bit more dainty. Um, so we really, we'll be able to fill them fat. So I have this tip that I'm going to put a hole in the end of our beautiful eclair. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the, um, the custard right in there. So this beautiful custard is going to have this very thick consistency when you take it out of the fridge. All I need to do is just whisk it and then it'll come back to a smooth, beautiful consistency and, and you really don't even need a tip. And then I'm going to hold our eclair and then I'm just going to squeeze and I'll slowly bring it out and then I can see it at the end. Isn't that beautiful? Now we're gonna dunk them in the chocolate. So I have our chocolate glaze here and it got a little stiff, so I loosened it up in a double boiler. So I'm gonna dunk the top of the clear in there. Let it drip a little bit. Look how absolutely beautiful that is. Wow, really, really pretty. All right, I'm gonna cut this in half and show you what it looks like on the inside. Did you hear that noise? I can't remember. It was like mid-burp, I think. So, so you could also do coupling. Roll it up so oh, we can do it. Really good. Put the, good. That amount. 
We the film. Was that? Oh, was that? gotta hold the twist mm -hmm. or else it gets Plenty. difficult. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Two. What? <laughs> you need to make it chocolate. Mm. Wait, wait, I. And then, then make it beautiful. Another layer. In the back. <laughs> She's only. Because I need this for my thumbnail, too. Oh, wait. Put it right under your mouth. Okay, guys, okay, it's taller. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching. You can find this recipe and this episode on the Traveling Epicurean on YouTube. Bon appetit! Bon appetit! Bon appetit. Bon appetit.